one technology the government in this region has really taken to heart recently are these things, the drones. We've seen them being used for classy photography, for gratuitous selfies, and of course for deliveries, with both Amazon in the US and Alibaba in China considering them for getting packages about the place. But here in the UAE, they've started looking for other uses for drones, and that's led to the competition going on over there. It's called Drones for Good. Dubai doesn't do things by halves, so this is a big deal here. Teams from all around the world have flown in to show the judges their prototypes, the task to demonstrate how drones can improve people's lives. And welcome, first Drones for a Good event here in the UAE, which is a two-day celebration. There's a million dollars up for grabs for the winners in the international category, so this is a serious business. And you wouldn't believe the number of issues that can be solved with a drone. At least, when there's so much money up for grabs. From heavy lifters to heat-seeking poacher detectors, all drone life is here. For example, I didn't know that fog was an issue in Dubai, but it is, or at least it was, until the team from Khalifa University invented a drone which gets rid of it. From several years, we have a lot of pile, car pileup accidents and disasters happening because of the fog. And also the flight, uh, the airway companies and people are really getting annoyed when their flight is diverted. We are doing an extraordinary experiment, an extraordinary environment. Using a concept similar to cloud seeding, which causes rain, this drone can carry 40 kilograms of a salty solution, which it sprays over the fog, breaking the dew point and dissipating the mist. Now, you'd need about seven of these to clear a runway within 20 minutes, allowing pilots to take off and land safely. This is an autonomous drone. So it's an just, autonomous drone? Yeah, with no need for joystick to control it. Really? Yeah, just we put the GPS coordination of places that it needs to go and spray, and it goes, spray the solution and come back to the base station. One thing I did know about Dubai was its preference for the tall and the fabulous. And with all this high-rise glass about, well, you do need something to keep it all clean. So bring on the flying squeegee. It has a washer, it has a squeegee, and with this drone, we are capable to clean up um, a maximum of 40 square meter per flight. Now, personally, I'm a little nervous about flying drones close to buildings, but at least the beauty of this dude is that the sponges protect the blades, so it's less likely to crash when you're wiping your Burj Khalifa. Whoa! <laughs> And crash protection is something being taken to an entirely new level by team flyability. This is fascinating. <laughs> this is, I've never seen a drone like this before. So what, what's the point? So this cage can rotate around the inner frame of the robot. So the part with the, with the propellers and the motor. Yeah. So that if the drone collides against an obstacles, only the cage will rotate. And with the, and the, 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 and the right. inside, we just stay uh, vertical. This kind of gimbal thing here is fantastic because that's what they strap astronauts into, isn't it? To, yeah. to spin them around. Can you give us some examples of where you see this sort of drone being used? So basically, this drone can go uh, anywhere where other drones cannot go, like uh, inside collapsed buildings, anywhere where like there's a lot of trashes yeah. and where you cannot have a perfect control of the robot. I mean, you can bounce off the walls. Yeah, that's the point. Because I point. don't think there's any other drone here that could probably No, they probably cannot do that. The pilot is actually flying the robot inside the house, so he does not f even see the robot anymore. He actually only uses the video link from the drone. Whoa! <laughs> You're in the final. What's the competition looking like? We are quite confident today that we will have uh, a better demonstration so that we'll have like a good score. That's amazing! 